so does everyone have a spirit team? Yes. And typically how many mm -hmm. people, spirits, is that made up of? Yeah, so I've heard, and, and I know, but, but I've heard numbers before, right? So we have mm. five angels or more with us. So we will have 10, some children have 30. I mean, wow. you know, um, spirit guides, I feel like it was the same. I feel like it's like an odd number. It totally depends. It depends on the person. Yeah. And it is a combination of perhaps past loved ones mm -hmm. and angels and, and other beings that you've helped or that want to help you in this lifetime. Wow. Because what you're doing by living your life is you're teaching them something they couldn't live in their life. Interesting. Or they're like interdimensional and, and they just want to help you. And also it can be <laughs> pets or animals. Pets, too. yeah. Yeah, there's wow. all sorts of levels to everything, mm -hmm. you know. And you mentioned the, you know, asking for a sign and cardinals. Mm -hmm. Do they help us with like angel numbers? Do you believe in angel numbers as well? Yeah, Seeing definitely. any sort of repetition or pattern with numbers oh, yeah. or a number that's, you know, your lucky number or significant number to you. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, numerology is its own like astrology right oh. it's a study of you know so, yes yeah it's there is a lot of meaning in numbers mm -hmm. um there definitely is other studies of numerology and uh, like tesla did 369 i mean that's energy in itself so yeah yeah it's definitely valid yeah okay perfect it's a way to communicate yeah mm -hmm. so now we've got a little bit of the ground rules mm -hmm. we got a little bit of an explanation of everything i have a couple frequently asked questions that i think people when they start to go um to a, a spiritual healer or a right. psychic or a medium they tend to have so um first is do we all have one romantic soulmate? Yes and no, right? Like you can marry your one soulmate, but we have more than one. I think it's, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so we have, so, but so I think that there's this, there's, there's a the question one. is like, yeah. do we have soul, I think that everyone pretty much is on, in the understanding, like we have multiple platonic. soulmates yeah. but some are platonic some aren't romantic mm -hmm, relationships mm -hmm. do we have multiple romantic soulmates as well yes, yes, so yes. you may not marry a romantic yeah 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 so you could have five partners you know three were karmic mm -hmm. you know that taught you kind of like the song thank you next right you know taught yeah. you patience taught you love yes. it, right so those are all romantic right but the one you chose is your Romantic partner is, is the mm -hmm. one you marry. That's that, that's a contract with them. Right. Right. And um, does that transfer through different lifetimes? So perhaps in the next lifetime you marry another one or, you know, mm -hmm. you date somebody else. So that is your, you say you have your five. Those yeah. are your five forever. They're with you <laughs> through right. and through. Well, um, again, yes and no. Unless, okay. unless you really learn that karmic experience that you needed to learn with him or her so your contract's up then you're yes good. yeah usually you're done okay yeah. got it mm -hmm. uh, what about twin flames that's a big i feel I like trendy it. question for yes. everybody where what is a twin flame because that's also i think a huge um question for people like is it sometimes it has this toxic or negative mm. element or connotation to it and sometimes it's this really beautiful meaning what is your interpretation of a twin flame and and do we have those as well yes we definitely do okay so the origin story so twin flames are essentially one soul that was split into two mm. so it's one soul androgynous in essence and then that soul decided to learn the feminine and the polarity and the binary um, lessons and to incarnate during this time and then the other ones stay behind or you know this one was masculine in this in this life and so they each learn different things to contribute to the higher soul's growth wow mm -hmm. that's beautiful when you yeah. say it like that i'm into the idea <laughs> right but it also can be toxic and it also can be nice you know yeah but it's all about growth so it's it's the greatest lover the greatest partner and the greatest opponent at the same time because it's you yeah <laughs> imagine yeah that's very true yeah <laughs> okay another big question that i think comes up a lot especially mm -hmm. in our 30s it's like we're in this time where you know we're really starting to get to know who we are mm -hmm. the the thing we're always asking ourselves is like what is my purpose mm -hmm. what is my mission right 
does each person have a purpose in their lifetime? And does it need to be something that's, you know, so grandiose or is it something that is simple. small and simple? Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Everyone does have a purpose. Everyone does have a purpose, even the mm -hmm. plant. Even the plant. Yes. <laughs> if it's alive. <laughs> mm -hmm. If not, it's matter. And that's yeah. a purpose. Yeah. Because I think that some people like beat themselves up over that. You right. know, maybe your purpose was was to be a mother. And, and that's, you know, yeah. that's perfectly fine. Maybe your purpose is to make it to the top of the, you know, ladder in yeah. the corporate world. Maybe your purpose is to go on a mission trip. Like right. anyone, and it doesn't even need to be like those tangible things. It could be learning a lesson right. as well, right? Maybe that's what your soul's purpose was for this lifetime. Mm -hmm. It can mm -hmm. be anything. Yeah. I feel like people are just reaching for what's that right. thing I'm supposed to do. And it has to feel like it's good enough. Mm. It doesn't need to be overcomplicated. Yes, definitely. Right. right. And I, I would say purpose is an energy. It's not a thing. Ooh. You know, so like I'm, I'm imagining like a guy who pushes the carts at the grocery store. His purpose could be just that. But his purpose is to bring joy and happiness to others. Right. You know, yeah, and that's the energy is joy and happiness. Right, make the but world the career is a right. better place than he left it. He's yes. putting those carts away, and then he lives and dies, and then yeah. he learned. You know, wow, I love yeah. that. Mm -hmm. We need people to get that through their yes. heads a little bit more. Yes, but that's big, right? We people put say big. so much guilt yeah. on ourselves for not doing enough. You yes. know, right? I hate that word enough. Yeah, it's it just doesn't exist. It's not a real thing because there's quantum like. There isn't ever enough. Right. You know, it's enough it, but by default is a limiting word. So mm -hmm. put that on a postcard. Yeah, let's do it.